is a world of pirates where 100 players will be trapped in trying to survive. These pirate islands contain fugitives, pirate raids, and even giant krakens. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. Also, we hit 275,000 subscribers. Woo! Next up is 300,000. So make sure to subscribe so you can be part of our community before we hit a million. This is the 100 player pirate simulation. Our story begins with players crash landing on the side of an island with rain pouring down unaware of their surroundings. They'll soon realize that they aren't the only ones over there. Phase one, the pirate's cove. Notable places here is the crashed ship, the two pirate ships, the pirate town, and lastly, the entire pirate island. One of many, of course. Their goals is to stack up on weapons, food, and other supplies to prepare for the borders to expand into the pirate town. Back to the homeless survivors, though. The ship that they crashed in was actually holding creatures inside of them. They were known as wyverns. This is what they exactly sounded like. Playing by Canary Wyvern. They're fighting the wyverns in here. So the pirates have already started to fight the wyverns. There should be... I hear them. Oh, I definitely hear them. Funky, huh? Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Buddy, run. Get out of here. The wyverns are after him. Oh, you're, you're, you're done for. You are done for, buddy. Oh, jeez. The survivors of the ship began to collect some resources, such as rocks. Let's see. A lot of people are mining. I guess that's like the first thing that came to their mind, which is good. There were also those among them that had a few violent tendencies. So they can fight each other. They seem to be nice pirates. That's a good thing. They don't seem to be like at each other's throats or anything, which is really good. No? Oh, jeez. Guess the murders have already started. Besides that, the world for them got a lot bigger as the first border expansion grew which got them to race to the wood that's nearby because they desperately needed some this guy vr was just staring at the wyvern oh there's a canary wyvern next to you and then the wyverns began to continue their attack against the survivors meanwhile they stumbled upon a mysterious foilith den sounds like a secret hideout doesn't it it's infested with who knows what adding a touch of creepiness to the island this thing yeah i think it eats humans i don't want to be on that guy's bad side and the foilith Oh, gosh. They got some pyro weapons, though. Look at Crippy. Look at him. That looks like a convict, though. But, you know, you know. It happens, guys. It happens. Look at this pirate. Oh, my God. Okay, they're actually teaming up to fight the Foilius. That's cool. Wonder what else is on the island. Some of the survivors began to loot the pirate ship of theirs for resources as well. While the wyverns chased around the masses, the players were getting some light weapons ready for the borders to expand once again. They wanted to explore the nearby pirate town. And if I was a pirate, I would want to explore that town, too. Who knows what kind of goods they have in there. The weather cleared up a little bit, causing more of the carnivorous plants to grow out of the ground and attack some of the survivors and get a bit of sunlight. No, Ricky was eaten. He didn't deserve this. He had so much going for him, but he's one of many of the people that were attacked. It was a carnivorous plant infestation. If you're interested in joining one of these events, make sure to join the Discord server in the description and follow me on Twitter for updates. Back to the survivors. Some of the smarter survivors took to the underground world world, knowing that it would be 10 times safer than being up there on the ground with the people eating menaces. Yeah, I'm talking about the foilets. Well, maybe it isn't so nice and peaceful down here after all. The skeletons have guns? What the heck? Who the hell invited all of these guys? Back on the surface, someone managed to get a hold of a gun. Also, the first base in the pirate world has also emerged. Oh, someone's making a base already. I love Star Wars. What did he say? Granted, it's a box, but they have to start somewhere. A creature that I actually forgot to mention was the swordfish. Now, don't get this little guy mistaken. He's no easy feat. This guy is twice the speed of a person and is deadly as a shark in these waters. I mean, just look at how much the survivors struggled with him in the first place. But they quickly outnumbered him and killed him off. Like a fish in the water. Oh, oh my god, god, that looks dangerous. Oh, I found a gravel. Oh, oh, that, that is dangerous. Fish. Oh, it's dangerous. They found the swordfish. There's like two hearts. Oh, Those things do hell of a ton of a damage, bro. Like, oh my Yeah, that's god. why I said not to hit it. You ever, ever <laughs> hey. thought about that? <laughs> I thought, I thought uh, it was. It's fine. true. These guys do hella damage, bro. I just wanna, I just that that like... guy's gonna die. More swordfish like this one were in the waters. Swarming around the base, Raymond and Sword managed to make. And Raymond was killed off by the swordfish. 
Be careful, guys. It might be worth using some of your guns on these. Oh, I think I might have interrupted something. Whoopsies. But they decided to put a sign down claiming it was a baller's territory. Speaking of which, there are three notable teams to keep track of. Or right, so it seems. The first one is Team Ballers. The second one is Team B, which we'll talk about later. And the rest of them are kind of just confused as to why they're here. They're teamless. Okay, it's the rest of them. With that aside, the survivors soon realized that the storm came back around, which led to mobs spawning up and above and coming for their heads. Oh my god, look at how many creepers and stuff are here. What is even going on? Jeez. These skeletons literally had pistols shooting at the players. It's crazy. Oh my god, the skeletons have guns. The skeletons literally have guns. This is crazy. Oh god. They're being shot from all sides. All right, it's nighttime and it's actually vile. It's not a nice place to be. Someone ended up getting a pirate sword. I think it looks pretty cool. A method someone was using to make a platform above the ship that they crashed in. Oh, you got a little got a little sky base over here, do you? But they got attacked by a wyvern that was nested up there, causing them to play more on the defensive side. And by that, I mean box themselves in. Added to that, these water spiders began to emerge out of the waters and chasing players around. Guys! Why are they freaking blue spiders Wait. with blue eyes? But they were able to handle it pretty well. And then it was about time we expanded the border to allow the survivors to finally become full-fledged pirates. Go look at the border. Let's go, Raymond. Raymond, let's leave. Let's go. Guys, there's a town. There's a town nearby. Go to those cords. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I'm not near the cords at all. I'm on the other side of the world. Oh shoot, I can't even see my um. They were starving and hungry for loot. So as the world expanded for them, the pirate town was now opening. Some of the enemy pirates was alerted of their intentions and began to launch an attack at the players waiting for the loot in the town. Oh, the pirates. But as you can see, the players fought back with pirates' weapons of their own. Some even got a hold of some pirate armor. Now that's some fancy stuff. Phase two, pirate town. The borders opened up the town, just like the the hordes of people waiting to get the new iPhone. Within the town, there's hay bales, which can be turned into bread, iron blocks used for weapons and tools and just anything iron related, and can be located mainly on pirate ships at the docks and a tribe that has called this place their home. But more on that later, it is important. But remember, this is no abandoned town either. Some climb to the ships and search for treasure. And to be fair, they're not wrong for doing so. The iron blocks are literally hidden in there. It didn't take long for players to realize that this place was not a safe as they'd hope. Yeah, oh my right. god, that's a sh ton of pirates. Get away. I've infiltrated okay, the <laughs> hay bales. Ugh, this is annoying. Wait, guys, I found the hay bale level. I have like all the wheat the wheat in the world. Careful, guys. Good job. I hate dying. Ooh, food dying now. My... Okay. Let's see what else people got going on. There's hella villagers over here. Crazy. I see they're taking some of the food supplies and stuff. I mean, just look. Due to the players alerting the enemy pirates here, a raid ended up beginning, causing them even more guys to spawn. Is there a raid? How'd that even happen? They were getting shot left, right, and center. One player that found the treasure ended up falling into an explosion trap, blowing up one of the ships, oh, wow. leaving only one escape for the enemy pirates. The remaining ship. What are they doing? They could have just used that to get out of here, but I guess at the end of the day, they're just kind of looting. There's Chris. Chris and the Scyther guy here. I don't know what they're doing down here, though. Ooh, they found themselves a command block. What the heck? One of the ships had a command block. That's crazy. Also, I don't know why, but that might be a bad idea keeping around. The lower decks of the pirate ships, there was Chris and Scyther, two players who ended up buying themselves some diamond armor on this ship and an enchantment table that they found there as well. And now they begin to gear up like crazy. Once the grace period is over, these players better be careful of these two. Pirates are ruthless after all. We got a lava bucket and enchanted like diamond stuff. It's crazy. There's someone on the roof. Why is you on the roof, buddy? What are you really doing on the roof? Oh <gasps> my god, there's so much, so many mobs. Oh my god, is that a bomber skeleton? Dude, I'm oh in full god. iron, but how yeah. do people get full diamonds? These basic pirates were not the only things to fear here. There were bomber pirates, as well as that literally chuck explosive barrels at your face. The players, for the most part, still held their own and managed to take out most of them. As you can see, it was most definitely not the last time they were gonna get a hold of these guys. There were multiple bomber pirates and rogue pirates that were chasing down these pirates like the irs does with my income uh, yeah. i'm scared of that i can't guy. eat it's nothing. It was oh my god they're pillagers what the yeah, yeah there's really anything in the village why is there a raid i don't even know where i'm going 
Oh, I found the pirate ship too. Okay, I finally found something. Uh, oh my god, there's skeletons with <laughs> bombs on their head. I, 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 I. Only met one hole. I've traveled so far. Oh, so the lag also didn't make it much better. But to be fair, there's a lot of pirates out to kill them. Just take a look at how terrified the players are here. This could possibly be very, very terrifying. Of course, they're trying to steal, just like the pirates they are. Oh, Shadow Cat, Shadow Cat. Players like Raymond and the ones that are stacked is working on reducing this raid to nothing so they can claim this town as their first takeover. But it won't be that easy. Oh my god! Where's the diamond people at? I thought that's what they're supposed to do. Kill the pillagers. Look at Raven, bro. It's back. The skeletons have some barrel in their head. What is that? Oh, those are creepers. Those are creepers. Oh, okay. Who uses that diamond to make a hoe? That's the worst way to use one. Soon, there's more than just pirates that they'll need to face against. Another thing that ended up happening is a rat infestation. They were crawling out of the ground and they were multiplying fast. And check out these fellas. Sunken golems? Don't know what the heck they do, but they exist too. Well, it seems they're a bit more passive than they are aggressive. Yeah, yeah. because it's yeah, probably the extreme. Kind of, whoa, what is that dude? Probably the extreme. Yo, there's like this there's weird looking dudes on the pirate ship now. This is why BD and He's flying! This is where dudes are flying! Bro, this dude doesn't die! No, please, please. A player by the name of Okram ended up stealing a horse from one of the stables and riding it around looking for teammates. But honestly, I think that he's going around making them kind of jealous. Let's see if there's any players that are still left over on this side. Let me see. Hmm. So there's like this and then there's the baller's base, but I think they abandoned the baller's base. Yeah, I think most people generally speaking gravitated towards that or the jungle. I know someone was talking about being stuck in the jungle. Yeah, it's probably this guy. Hey there, buddy. Exios. Hey, bro. You're just living life, bro. You're just living life. Why are you bullying me? <laughs> bro, just in the jungle. Just trying to survive out here with, you know, skinning ho horses, I guess. Sleepy Norton. Melting some stuff over here. Yeah, there's people out here. 50. Let them into, like, the further areas. Oh, snap. Look at the armor. The oak has. There is a lot of silverfish. Jesus. So there's a... Oh, my God. What is your skin? Oh, my God. What happened to your eye, buddy? What the heck? Yo. No. That boy's eyes missing. Stable or something. Oh, oh, there's some murdering going on. Yo, my boy Toby wants that armor. You better run, Gavitron. He on your case. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. You are heavily out everything, buddy. But maybe the maybe the lag might... Oh, wait, he's running. This boy running. So, you remember when I said that there was more to worry about than just the creatures and the pirates we've seen so far? It was this guy. This guy is known as the Sun Chief, and he was treating this place as a sacred home, which these pirates just so happened to stumble upon. This was the pirate's first boss. Ironically, it's not even in the water, but it's on land. To make things even worse, there were two of them, but the pirates were dealing with them pretty quickly. That is, until this happened. Thing me without any reason. What I'm the? Oh, oh my god. We, god! we should meet up. We should meet up. We can say. I want oh, to yeah. After the explosion, they began to summon minions, which would make killing these guys near impossible. It was a back and forth fight. The reason their health would be at an increase is due to them spawning in healers that helped them regenerate faster than the pirates could hit them. The strat here would be for them to kill off the healers to allow them to kill off the bosses without them healing. A third chief also appeared, and it just kept going. More and more chaos ensued, and as time went on, it just got so much worse. Most of the heavy armored players were the ones giving the boss heavy hits of damage but this also gave the weaker players the opportunity to loot the most powerful players dead bodies it kind of grimy as time went on the pirates realized that this boss fight was going on in the center of the pirate town so they joined in to help out with the attack you know the more i listen to these tribal people i kind of realize they sound like minions as you can see even the armorless began to help out with the attack there are there's a boss hey, yeah. Bro, I got zero armor. I, I, I think the player just I died. I stole his I armor. Kill the big boy. Kill the big boy. Why are there three Sun Chiefs? Boys, I just uh, got a loot from a dead stack player. <laughs> Bro, anyone need extra iron? I got 10 from the stack player. Oh, jeez, dude. Wait, is he still- It's still alive. How is the boss still alive? I don't understand. Bro, the mob does not take damage. I try to hit him. Before I just start another raid. Oh, there's, there's a- oh, that uh, memory wait. shot. A drone that follows you around. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm getting ganked up on. Oh. There's so many there's mobs. There's so dude. many of them. <laughs> they don't take any damage. I've been hitting them. What okay, you know what? I have to go to my last resort. I'm using lava bucket. They walked through my lava! 
Oh god, there's explosions. Wait, explosions oh, are actually please. useful. Oh, I've killed the whole Okay, I killed some mob. Oh, shh. I'm taking Bro, damage. Okay, I bus. killed him. Almost. Why are people dropping like flies? Ooh, you free loot in the mid. Take some loot. Uh, you have to kill, you have to kill the healers. Kill like the healers. See what I have. Uh, Who are the healers? I'm so confused. The guys are glowing. Glowing dudes are glowing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Bro, there's a whole stack of them. What? Guys, if you get the um masks that they wear, the cheeky masks, they get like buffs. Kill them. Kill the healers. Did they die from fire? Yeah, they they take fire damage. Cover. There's so many. This man just yoinked my mask! I yeah, literally want to stay away from everyone. I don't trust anyone. Ooh, now I'm fighting. Oh, oh shoot. Hey, I think I the boss bus dead. Where did he go? Oh, wait, it did die. Oh, Ooh. shoot. Oh, guys, died. don't let anyone pick Ooh, up his. Someone's dead. If, if it's oh, no, the diamonds, the full diamonds are killing people. Full diamonds kill people. Oh, God. Oh, oh I gotta God. run away. I'm not gonna be near there. I don't wanna get killed by a diamond guy. And finally, the boss was killed off. They had won. This was their first pirate victory and boss battle in this new pirate world. The Sun Chief actually granted three players the ability to shoot a sunbeam straight out of their bare hands. Tell me that's not cool, which they're also gonna need for sure. Then began phase three, build challenge. The person or team with the best base, not including the ones that are already built to make the town, wins and gets a hold of a legend legendary pirate sword. This also gave the pirates some time to gear up, attack other teams, create alliances, and lastly, loot each other for pirate goods. There were also some creatures that ended up on the shores for them to meet. Let's go take a look at what they've made so far. Some of the bases were already being made right off of the bat. Things were looking up for these pirates. They were building on the outskirts of the pirate town they took over. You see that fire over there in the distance? Yeah, well, that was kind of caused by a very problematic person, and he's known is Okram. He's been going around trying to light things on fire, but a little arsonist. He also took a tiki mask, but look at him. Him and his friend are gathering flint and steels as we speak. This boy cannot build, and he's gonna make sure that the pirates can't either. They ended up getting caught though. Even the pirate ships began to burn down to a crisp. Okram was eventually kicked out of the village and out of the build competition. He was on a list of people for the pirates to hunt down any chance that they got, so he best be careful. While the pirates were building near the town, another team, which I like to call Team B, began to make this thing called the Van Boat. It's part van and it's part boat, if you couldn't tell, and it was owned by a player named Crippy. There's another house in the distance, but I think it's kind of abandoned. They were pretty heavily geared up and were building up their defenses really fast. Little did they know that they were actually based on top of a Kraken colony, but more on that later. Back to Okram and his little voyage of finding himself. He found a friend and began cutting down some wood. He too wanted to lay low for a bit. Another notable house here on the list of winners for that special pirate sword is this one. It was by the water, which in my opinion isn't really the safest, but hey, what do I know? Oh no. Is that Ohio feet tickler? He's someone I actually fear. Back to the main area where people are building. The houses are still burning down. This can't be good for the environment. While the build competition was going on, some dinosaurs ended up stumbling upon the houses. Well, they seemed fierce at first, but were kind of broken. Well, these pirate waters aren't meant for everybody. Some others were still griefing their builds, so they chased them down just to murder them. Funny enough, the forest he ran into for protection was also being burnt alive. This is another base that's by the border. They even have a farm that's going on there slowly being made, and a mini port. Cute. A progress report on the base of Team B. It's looking pretty good. They've also been the most neutral team out of all of them. I also took a screenie with them. I gave them a dinosaur spawn egg. I hope they enjoy that. Besides Besides the bases we've seen so far, remember that the jungle I was on about before? Well, they basically made themselves a base on top of the jungle biome, and it looks amazing. This treehouse was actually made by sword, but there's also a lot of pteromodactyls around. Oh, Adrians, welcome to the treehouse. Welcome. Let me give you a tour. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, give me a tour. <laughs> right, okay. So, wait, 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 let's start over here. I, 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 this is our head builder, right? He's building some new expansions. Look at this amazing floor pattern. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. okay come up, can you come this amazing bridge that you definitely can't fall off of? You got the nice, like, center. No windows, obviously, because why would you ever need windows? And then this is the main house. Okay. Look, you come up this bridge. Read, read the signs. Huh? What? This is, this is our amazing stockpile. Look, here's the amazing balcony. 
that definitely works. Okay, okay. Then look, look at our amazing roof that's stone, but how like advanced of a civilization we are. Honestly, I gotta give it to him. It's one of my favorite bases so far that I've seen. Then I noticed someone in chat said they found a dragon, so I went to investigate. It ended up being a wild leviathan that had snuck itself onto the shore of one of these bases. The leviathan leaped forward and jumped on top of the bases of theirs. They attacked the leviathan non-stop, trying to save their house from being completely destroyed. I wish them the best luck, honestly. And then there was this guy, living life happily and peacefully away from the savage pirates around him and away from the leviathan. During the whole fiesta of events, there was a dinosaur at the van boat of Team B's. They had trapped him and named him Cornelius. What an interesting name. They ended up taming the dinosaur as well. But while they were distracted with their new friend Cornelius, an enemy ended up stumbling upon their now knowing where their base is, but he began to run the moment that Team B noticed him. This outsider was hunted down by Team B, murdered into nothing. Poor Skip, he just wanted to live his life and be the dinosaur. So after about 30 minutes of letting them do their own thing and work on the build competition, Sword and Crippy were the winners of the build challenge. Let's go! Sword was the one with the treehouse and Crippy is the leader of Team B. Sword and Crippy got their swords, but some decided to hunt them down. Scary. Now that the build challenge is over, then began phase four, expansion. The pirates were not happy with just this one little town being theirs. They were actually pretty greedy. So they set a foot on a boat and sailed to explore the new lands. They found an island with a house on it. And it was also home to five dormant knights guarding the place. Once word spread out about the place, pirates began to swarm in, searching for the valuables that the knights were guarding in the first place. This place also had wheat and sugarcane growing, which they can bring back to the pirate town of theirs. Get the sugar Get yeah, shuriken. We need sugar. I think it's we now need, in the back. They also soon realized that they weren't alone on this island. And I'm not talking about those five knights. I'm talking about the pirates with guns on the island too. Which made the boss fight that much more difficult to even land a hit on these guys. I'm kind of scared right now. Wait. They're spamming them. DJ. DJ, shoot them. Wait. Oh my god. Guys, there are more than four. DJ, shoot him in the sword in the back. Attack him. He shall attack you. Hit his sword in the back. Watch out for the ground. As you can see, this was no easy fight. But but as time moved on, more and more pirates came to fight the knights and claim the island as another victory in the Book of the Pirates. DJ Girl also decided to use her sun powers she got from the last boss fight. On this boss fight, even Lizard Boy had these powers. Oh god, there's another one over here. Dude, attack me, come on. You won't. You I am very powerful, Captain. They're blowing up the central house with TNT. Great. Oh, genius. Oh, now the map oh, even oh, gets looped. Oh, 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 to the air. DJ, <laughs> oh, dang. I'm killing these. I'm killing these knights. The house in the middle had a TNT trap that one of the pirates accidentally stepped on, blowing up the house and its loot. But I don't think some of them realized it was a fierce fight. These knights literally one tap shields and two tap pirates with armor. So imagine them without. Some of the health on these guys have been slowly being worn down. After all, it is a five versus like sixty of these pirates, and it's a fight to the death. There were also minions placed down. They are here to help the pirates defeat the knights once and for all. They even bring out the lava tactics on the knights. It was only a matter of time now. And they've done it! All of the ferris were killed off except for one hidden underground. Most of the pirates ended up heading back home since they thought that the last knight was actually just a visual glitch. And then the last knight was killed by a player named Magma. And that closes the chapter for the second boss killed off in the pirate world. But it only gets harder from here on out. With the pirate pirates on their way back, the border also begins to shrink. Some of the pirates were unaware of the loot being blown up, so they were still searching for it. Hopefully they saw the border that was slowly shrinking behind them. So much for searching for the remains of the loot because it's all gone now. The border will kill any pirate that's left behind. There was, however, a huge fight of the teams out here in the ocean. Okram and two others were fighting it out, hoping for the border and the chunk delay to make slimmer chances of survival. And they were right. This fight went on for a while, but this is where Okram's story soon comes to an end. From burning down houses, getting exiled from the pirates team, to an all-out war in the ocean. Things were looking peaceful back at home though. A lot of the problematic ones got killed off, and the others formed alliances since they knew that that was not the last boss that they'd have to face. So they wanted to team with each other, and rightfully so. It'd also be a shame if that pet Cornelius of theirs went missing. Hey, we were literally fighting this guy for the half, oh. and he logged. I, I think that- Oh! Cornelius is gone. Wait, what? No. What? No. no. It's invisible. No. It's invisible. It's 
seen it either. Okay, is it? He's in there. Jesus. If anyone here is a nature person, I'm sorry. I guess things back home were not as peaceful as I thought they were. Okay, well, way to prove me wrong. Jeez. A Leviathan ended up on the shores of the team's base again. This was the start to phase five, the deadly seas. Here, the pirates are challenged right at their very homes. They get deep sea creatures thrown at them to see how they hold up and if they could survive past the storm. There was even a volcano ready to erupt. This was gonna look rough for them. This was a team that was just attacked by a leviathan. Some sea serpents ended up on their shores as well. Let's hope they're not too worn out from the last fight that they just dealt with. They were being chased around. The waters were no longer safe. The serpents even made it to Crippy's team, Team B. They charged in like they own the place. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Whoa. No, I'm not. DJ, you hit what me. What are what they? Why are they here? Are they here? What if we made a safe room right here? Team B was thinking of making a fallout shelter in case they were invaded. Honestly, not a bad idea. Then the Nagas came. Even Ellie, the one in charge of protecting Team B's ship, got attacked by the Nagas. They're here. Oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Run! Looking at me. <laughs> I, I'm on poison. I'm poisoned. Yeah. Well, they ended up making this fallout shelter a lot sooner than I thought they would. Others dealt with the same attack as well. No one was safe here. Every team had Nagas and Serpents attacking them. Most teams ended up freaking out though, but they kept their distance and played it somewhat pretty safe. Someone ended up sacrificing themselves to swap places with Okram. So Okram, the menace of the pirate world, was once again roaming the streets. I mean pirate lands. Just when it seemed safe, the Serpents were always there, despite these times. Some even went to the extremes of using sun blasters against these guys. Was this enough though? And there was a Leviathan, their first interaction with it, at least for team B. They wanted to protect Cornelius at all costs, so they ended up risking their lives. They were protecting Cornelius. It sounds pretty insignificant till you realize there was a team trying to infiltrate and break team B apart from the inside out by making them blame each other for Cornelius's death. And the way that they would pull this off is through an assassination attempt on on Cornelius, and that's exactly that happened. While the Leviathan was attacking Team B, someone ended up sneaking onto their land, pouring lava on the tree that Cornelius was right next to, and his cage was also made completely out of wood, so you can kind of connect the dots there. After a while, things began to calm down, or so I thought, and the pirates were simply geared up for the next boss. Phase 6, the Pirate King. While all the pirates were with their separate bases and teams that they've built up, the main town that they took over was left to rot or so they thought. Luffy ended up taking this town by force and called it its home. So the pirates snapped back and faced off against him. You ain't getting the one piece this time. Luffy is um, at the village. What is that, Captain? How do you even pronounce that? Luffy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> If any of you guys know how he works, he doesn't go anywhere without his crew. His main crew went fishing though, so they were just pirate captains that were helping him defeat the pirate civilization here. The pirates killed off the pirate captains and only one remained, and that was Luffy. It was also a raid during the entire fight for some reason. And after a long fight filled with lava, carnivorous plants, and pirate captains, Luffy was killed off. The fight ended up attracting the notice of a full-fledged dragon that was flying by. He glided down to the ground and was woken up by a sunblast. All the pirates charged at the dragon. Some died to the dragon's fight, but they ended up killing him off. Those captains that were with Luffy weren't the only ones around. The captains even ended up attacking Team B. These guys do so much damage, by the way, and the pirates were scared out of their minds. They got raided, and they're really struggling out here trying to fend off their bases. Looking back at the ships down by the main town, even the last ship that they had, aka their only hope of escape in this pirate world, was gone. And to make things even worse for them, the ship was now home to the Frostma. After killing off the players, at the ship, it headed to Cornelius and Team B for some more blood. It had an icy cold breath, hunting them down one by one. This pirate world was in mayhem. The moment they stopped going out and exploring the vast ocean, the threats of the ocean came to them. It really was kill or be killed. Genuinely, this world was in ruin. The once vast island they crash landed on now is in ashes, torment, and just honestly an all-out mess. This then began the final phase. Phase 7, 
The oceans rage. The waters become a catalyst for disaster. There was one creature amongst all of the creatures so far that the pirates known to sail these seas have feared. It's a myth and some even call it a legend. It's known as the Kraken, which in this case is the final boss fight these pirates have to defeat. And behold, the Kraken. The players are soon alerted of the creature. One thing that's important about this Kraken is that he regenerates every single person that he kills. The pirates threw everything they had at the Kraken. Alongside the Kraken, there were also the Nagas flying around as well because of the storm. Oh, oh, it's a Kraken. Broke it. I'm loaded. Get in my, get in my boat. We're gonna go fight the. Oh, there's the Kraken. Kraken. Oh wow. Is Chris dying or what? I'm going in. It's all me. Punch Chris. Go in, me. boys. Oh, who died? Ah. Hell no. Oh, did Chris die? Just look at the devastation that's going on here. To be honest, I don't think they're getting out of this alive. Oh. Big room. Big room. Come on, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Make a room. Make a room. <laughs> Let the pain havoc the world. Oh my God! I have a mouse! I have a mouse! I have a mouse! I have a I died! Oh God! I just got. long. Oh my God! Where is he? Where is he? The Kraken does so much damage. Bro, let's go kill him right now, bro. I see him! I see him! I'm jumping! I'm jumping! I'm on him! I'm on him! I see him! I'm checking. Yes, Chris. Uh, I'm after him, I'm after him. Oh, pop the soda, pop the soda! Are they killing Chris? Yeah, they're crackers, they're crackers, they're crackers. Kill Chris! Get him! Oh, he's so fat. He, he has a sushi buff. I don't, I don't have food though. The Kraken is just following him. Follow the Kraken. I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, where, uh, where the ship is. The ship, ship, ship. Kraken's on us as well. Kraken's on us as well. He's, oh. he's dead! Oh. Let's go! Chris died. He's dead! Look, oh, it's the Kraken. Get the Kraken. It's only each like that, it heals. That's what I'm feeling. Well, why is the Kraken healing? Well, each like that, it heals. So we gotta watch out. It's not dying, boys. <laughs> I'm one gold in life. Was to make sure Cornelius lived till the end, and he's dead now. No, he's dead. Wait, he died. Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. He died. He died. He died. He died. He it was so difficult that they had to craft these blasters so they can even hit the leviathan from long range so it doesn't even regenerate will these pirates survive the attack let's kill the kraken stop it i'm i keep on killing people no he is dying finally oh yo 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 help 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 tummy tummy nah bro it's almost dead that's wild almost dead okay guys we're gonna go feed it Oh Everyone go feed, go feed it, go feed it, go feed it. Go feed it. <laughs> Bye guys. I'm getting the final oh, kill. No, 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 and they end up killing the Kraken. The pirate world is saved. By the way, some of you guys don't realize that these civilization videos are telling a huge story. So check out my civilization playlist if you want to watch the rest of the series. Subscribe so I can pay my bills.